Hey everyone, it's me, Lauren, AKA No So Natural. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. If you aren't a current subscriber, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I promise you won't regret it. If you aren't familiar with who I am and what I talk about on my channel, I love talking about natural skincare, hygiene, fragrance, black owned businesses, and everything that feels good to my soul. So if I love it, I'm gonna talk to you about it because you might love it too. I recently did a video on my whole perfume collection and I mentioned that I would do a separate video for my perfume oils and my sample perfume collection. So if you're interested in seeing what I have in my stash, stay tuned. So of course I love perfumes, I love fragranceness, but a love of mine since I was in college is perfume oils in the form of roller balls. My friend Sade put me on to oils in college and I never looked back. I never looked back for years and years. Perfume oils were the only thing I used for fragrance. Because, well, not the only thing because I was layering with body butters and soaps and whatnot but when I would step out I would put on my my oils y'all I've never been too bougie to use oils I don't care if it's from the mall I don't care if it's from the beauty supply store oils come in handy and they're so concentrated the scent projects I currently have on a body oil today my scent of the day is Tom Ford's Velvet Orchid, and I layered it with Bath & Body Works, Blackberry, and Basil. Top tier. I'm smelling so good. Just to give y'all a little how-to, if you don't know, this perfume oil smells like Velvet Orchid. I'm going to put it on my pulse points, by my ear. You can do your neck, your wrists, inner and outer both sides you get your inner arm your elbow your inner elbow and then you get here make like a cross you can do whatever you can get behind your legs you apply it just where you would spray your perfumes and apply as much as you want just like perfume you don't want to rub it together you can pat if you want to kind of diffuse disperse the oil a little bit but I'm smelling good, y'all. And you can go on with your spray or your perfume, whatever. Smell good all day long. People gonna be like, what do you have on? A perfume oil. Perfume oils hit like a perfume. A lot of times harder and stronger. Thank me later if you've never used perfume oils. Do not sleep on them. You will be smelling bougie on a budget you can have as many fragrance oils as you want you could have like a thousand fragrance oils for one perfume literally literally we are going to start off with my perfume oil collection and the first company is a black owned business it is key essential oils check her business out i love her body butters I love her body oils. She has car fragrances, home fragrances, oil diffusers. Everything is amazing. The first scent is Eat It Up. I am not going to give a scent description for all of the oils featured in this video, but I will drop the scent notes on the side. Next up is Laud. Laud. I love this fragrance it was an instant love every time I wear it what do I say lord it smells good next up is intense and what is it it is intense but in the best way possible 
Next up is Empower. I know for sure that Empower is a unisex scent. Key Essential Oils has feminine scents. She has masculine scents and unisex scents. And I can say that all of the scents are amazing. Some of my car fragrances are some of her masculine scents and they smell like a strong grown man that smells delicious. Taste me. I highly recommend it. But honestly, I highly recommend all of her oils. There has never been a fragrance, a scent that I did not like. The sticker for this fragrance came off, but I am 99% sure that this is the scent Allure. It is alluring. It's like, come closer. I smell good. Get into it. This is the scent Mia Moore. This, I believe, was a limited edition drop she did for Valentine's Day like two years ago. Y'all, I did not really like rose back then. I was not a floral lover, but this right here, y'all can see, I love it. It smells amazing. These are not all of the oils that I have purchased from Key Essential Oils. I have finished some and... This is just what I have right now. I need some more, y'all. Key Essential Oils has body butters. I no longer have her body butters because I use them up. Back when I got these products and my body butters, I wish I was really making YouTube content consistently because I would have had so many empties videos and it would have been her products because for a long, long time, up until this year, I did not use perfume, really. I had like one or two perfumes in my collection because I didn't need them because of key essential oils as well as some other fragrance oils I had but for fragrance key essential oils is what I was using or I should say was what I was using on a daily basis and people would compliment me on a daily basis telling me how good I smelled because of her body oils and her body butters her body butters are just as potent as far as scent projection and longevity, y'all, please check out Key Essential Oils and tell her I sent you. Some of my favorites are Wet Wet, Let's F, and Pulse. Go check out Key Essential Oils. Next up are perfume oils that I picked up from my local mall. Some are inspired scents for perfume and others are popular scents that you can find in perfume oils. Up first is Chance by Chanel. Next is Baccarat Rouge 540. I have Paco Rabanne's Lady Million. Next is Jimmy Choo's Fever. I love this. It's a plum scent. I love pairing this with Fall in Bloom, as well as Ambery Cherry by Dossier. It's an amazing scent. I have Mad About You. This is the scent Lick It Please. This one is Come To Me Again. And this last one is Candy Love. Next are perfume oils I got from Wholesale Body Oils dot com they are all inspired fragrances y'all bubba's in the background now just a fyi up first is killian's love don't be shy next is killian's angels share next is tom ford's black orchid i also have tom ford's velvet orchid i have tom ford's lost cherry i have tom ford's effing fabulous Tom Ford's Soleil Blanc. I have Alien by Moogler. Eilish by Billie Eilish. Replica's Bubble Bath by Mason Margiela. Ariana Grande's Sweet Light Candy. Last but not least, I have Ariana Grande's Cloud. I just wanted to show y'all I have some of my oils in this oil container case. Just so y'all see. If you have perfume rollerballs, you can get one of these. If 
you need some storage. So that wraps up my perfume oil collection. I very well might have a couple more in some of my purses or bags, but this is a majority of my perfume oils. Just so y'all know. Next, we are moving on to my sample size perfumes. Y'all, I apologize for the lighting. This is just the best setup I have right now. So forgive me. But up first is Viva La Juicy. Up next is Bright Crystal by Versace. Next is Good Girl by Carolina Herrera. I have a full size to this perfume and a sample size. I have Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue. I have Daisy by Marc Jacobs. And I have the Classic Clean Flower Fresh. Recently, one of my mom's co-workers was transferring to another city. My mom works for an airline. So my mom's co-worker's wife works for Sephora. So he brought in about a thousand sample size perfumes. So my mom scooped me up some. So these upcoming fragrances are ones she picked up for me. Thanks, mom. I have two YSL Black Opium Eau de Parfums. I started using the one that is open. I love it. I love it. Up next, I got three, well, it's four sample perfumes for Victor and Ross Flower Balm. But this is, you know, a little bit more than a sample. It's a sample, but it's a nice sample. I was so happy to have this. I'm super familiar with Victor and Ross Flower Balm because it is one of my mom's signature scents. It has been her signature scent for years. She has Flower Balm Nectar, which I love as well. So I am very thankful for these samples. I have two Gucci Bamboo Eau de Parfum samples. I have not yet smelled this fragrance, but I am excited to. I have Chloe's Love Story Eau de Parfum. This is another fragrance I have not yet smelled, but I'm also excited to smell this one. Up next is Jo Malone's Wood, Sage, and Sea Salt. I absolutely love this fragrance. I love it to the point that I want it in my collection or I need to get a good dupe for it. I also have Tory Burch's Belle Azure. I do like this fragrance. I really only have tested it on my skin once, but from my first impression, I like it. I have a Stella by Stella McCartney Eau de Toilette. I have not smelled this, but hopefully I like it. Up next, I have a Fresh Sugar Lemon Eau de Parfum. This is another one I have not smelled, but the top notes are Italian Lemon, Yuzu, Mandarin. The heart notes are Orange Blossom and Ginger Flower, and the base notes are Oak Moss, Caramel, and White Santal. That sounds amazing. I kind of already know I'm going to love it. Last but not least, I have this, it says All Parfume, this perfume towel, it says Ashibori, y'all, I've never used one of these, but we're going to see what it's hitting on when the time is right. So I forgot a very important oil in my collection, y'all, it is not a rollerball, but it's I couldn't forget my Baccarat Rouge 540 body oil, y'all. This was a Christmas gift, y'all. I love Baccarat Rouge 540. I used this to compare my inspired scents to be like, oh yeah, that smells like Baccarat Rouge 540. I haven't hardly used this, but it is definitely a perfume oil in my collection. All right, so that wraps up this video. I really hope y'all enjoyed seeing my fragrance collection. Comment if you use perfume oils. Do you get sample perfumes when you just want to try out a fragrance? Or, you know, you just always blind by the big size. Let me know. Both works you know i do both here and there but me i'm a person that 
got a budget okay i have been a stay-at-home mom with my daughter so i don't have a lot of income coming in you feel me so i smell good but i don't have to spend a lot of money and it's a lot of people that feel like you can only smell luxurious you can only smell good with niche and designer fragrances no there are cheap designer fragrances that smell good. There are inspired scents that smell good. You don't have to break the bank to smell good and feel amazing. I feel the best when I look the best, when I smell the best. So I just wanted to share my collection with you all to inspire you. Y'all, do what works for you. That's all I got to say. Thanks so much for watching. Please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Love you guys.